Wednesday. It is uh, Wednesday. Can you hear me? Oh, good. Excellent news. I uh, just heard, I just heard um, Director Charlotte go, why can't we hear him? You can hear me, which is good. Yes, welcome to Wednesday. It is Craft Vault and uh, looking forward to today actually because this show is nice and easy. Uh, there's going to be no confusion because basically um, everything on the show is priced at one amazing low price for you. I will tell you more about that in just a few moments time. But let me introduce you to the guy who's going to be by my side, not just during this show, but for the following two shows as well. It is the Ben and Craig show today. Yeah. Oh, good morning. Are you excited? I am really, really excited. So uh, we ended the day last night as well, didn't we? A few little change it. Johnny, don't. It's one minute past 11 on a Wednesday <laughs> morning. You're back. Johnny's back. Johnny and Charlotte in the gallery as well today. Uh, but yeah, so we ended the day yesterday on Craft Vault, myself and you. A couple of the slight changes. I stepped in from Sarah last night. And then uh, here in the UK, Leanne's got a couple of extra shows on Crate and Craft. So I've jumped in and I'm going to cover uh, Creative Cravens later on for uh, her today. But yeah, all throughout the day, apart from the very last Craft Vault, you've got me and Ben all day. I'm looking forward to it. It's I'm glad good. you know all about the changes because I just literally get told that you're coming in and you weren't supposed to be here. I didn't know about you know who was in and who wasn't in. And later on, of course, you're not here for the later craft vault. But um, are Hillary stepping in on that, isn't she? Absolutely. So you've started to see Hillary a couple of times on uh, Wake Up Call with Craig. Uh, a couple of times she's been on uh, doing her games. Uh, but we've also had her on uh, once doing a little bit of a demo, and then on another show she was on full the force full show doing the demo and segments. You loved her. You absolutely love her and things with Hillary as well is if there's anyone other than Leanne and Sarah that knows their product knowledge at Crafters Companion it's Hillary when things are getting tried and tested Hillary's the one that actually uh, tries and tests them so whether you've got any questions there's some that she might not be able to answer but if anyone's going to know the answer you get some little sneak peeks it's going to be Hillary so that's going to be fun you may remember Hillary from the wake-up call because Hillary was the lady who um, who beat Craig in a competition uh, when it was uh, named the name the crafty product wasn't it because Hillary Hillary won that particular competition uh, Craig lost in the the head to head did she beat you or my sorry did Hillary beat you in that competition she did absolutely yeah I thought she did yeah yeah you're not going to get a rise out of me Dar! <laughs> Right. Worth a go. Uh, hello to Felicia from Ohio. Sarah's in from Melbourne, Australia. Eleanor says hello everyone from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Patty's in from Michigan. Uh, Christy's in from uh, Yakima WA. Where's WA? Washington Is or it? Wisconsin. Uh, Christy, let us know. Sally's in from Broughton, North Devon. Yes, the Devon Massive. And uh, Maria, uh, it is uh, Washington, WA. Uh, and Maria says, hello, Craig and Ben from Devon. Maria, where are you from in Devon? I'd like to know, being a former uh, Dev Devonian, we have got the Devon Massive in today um, if you want to get in touch and say hello to us over the course of the show make sure you do uh, facebook and youtube is where you need to be commenting uh, as per usual anything you want to ask anything you want us to show uh, that is where you need to be getting in touch with us and of course as always if you want to send in any pictures uh, of projects that you've made uh, pictures of uh, what you're up to today pictures of your air fryer whatever it might be uh, <laughs> studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk right so this craft vault, right, um, it's very, very simple for the fact that if you're thinking, what price is everything going to be? If you're shopping here in the UK, everything on this show, each item is going to be 20 pounds. Or if you're shopping in the US, $30. It's so, so simple. So basically, um, if you're a platinum member, that comes down to 16 pounds for everything on the show or $24. So let's have a look at some of the goodies you could be buying uh, for a 20 pound note or $30. The cut and emboss classic words collection. Uh, these are gorgeous. Uh, you're going to get love, congrats and home. Beautiful for your card making projects, but also very nice for some home decor pieces as well. £20, $30, that is £16 or $24 if you are a Platinum member. There's some brilliant deals to be had. That's one of them. This, I think, is one of my favourite deals of the show because the Peacock Collection, I love. 
Um, with this collection, you are going to get um, all of the elements that you're seeing there with that beautiful embossing folder. You've got the two stamp collections uh, with the Builder Peacock in there as well, as I like to call it. You're also going to get 10 sheets of your uh, Royal Blue Glitter card. That is an unbelievable buy at £20 or $30. Bad news though, is that we've only got 20% of the stock remaining. So if that is something which you've got your eye on, then go swiftly, because that is likely to fly out of the door. See what I did there? Peacock flies. Mm. Now, um, if you love Sharon Callis, you will love her collections. I've not seen this one before, actually. What? Just ignore me. Okay. He was looking at me very strangely over there. Um, the Sharon Callis uh, Crafts Stencils Collection as I say, first time I've seen this, really like it because you've got some very, very uh, different types of um, stencils there for you. £20 or $30, and that is there again whilst stocks last. We'll have a look at that in the studio in just a bit, but super handy. You've got lots of different styles within that, but get it whilst it's here uh, because that could be selling out too. £20, $30, £16, $24 if you're platinum. And again, look at this for a deal, right? I know it's not Christmas. I know we're heading into March, but Christmas will be here before you know it. And this is a lovely collection. The Nature's Garden Vintage Christmas Collection. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, you're gonna get with this your um, uh, enchanted, Enchantment Ivy Die. You're going to get your Christmas Magic Stamps. There's a cut and emboss folder in there as well. Your Peace on Earth uh, Metal Die. And you're going to get 10 sheets of your Christmas Green Centura Pearl cardstock. What a buy. 20 quid, 30 bucks. Grab it whilst it's here. Talking of amazing buys, and I know a few of you were having a bit of a nibble at this earlier on, on the wake up call, the uh, Kingfisher uh, Window Project Collection. This is a stunner. 47 elements included in this. Uh, and once again, it is 20 pounds or $30. You're gonna get your Kingfisher um, window die. You're also gonna get your um, envelopes and you're gonna get your uh, rectangular aperture cards and you're gonna get sheets of your self adhesive matte black card included too. Should be over 31 pounds or almost $39. So a great saving to be had there once again. Some really lo lovely collections featuring today. And talking of lovely collections, Look at this deal. Are you kidding me? This should be nearly 48 quid at $62. You're getting the uh, Sorrow Signature Rose Gold Collection. 30 elements in total in this one. Uh, and again, huge value for money. You've got your Sparkle and Shine Stamp and Die Set. You've got your, um, that one on its own is worth $14.99. Uh, or seventeen dollars. You've got your um, wish die. You've also got your uh, modern roses die included in there too. Then you've got your love die, and you've got your embossing folder as well. Cut and emboss folder, I should say. Uh, that decorative rose frame. Twenty or thirty platinum members. Sixteen or twenty-four. That is a super deal. What I love about these shows is, you know, normally with these craft bolts, you kind of think of like sales type prices. You'd think that you know, the, the items that we'd be giving you in the show would be stuff which we're trying to get out the, the, the back of the warehouse, which is like three, four years old. A lot of this stuff is really recent and we're just smashing the prices down. So get it whilst you can, particularly this. And this is why we're featuring the Nature's Garden Peacock Collection first, because low, low stocks. If you want to get it, um, make sure you get it in your basket now and check it out because it could go before the end of the show show um, you are going to get with this as I say very quickly because I know we want to get over to Craig um, these elements you've got your um, proud as a peacock stamp and die set I call this the um, the builder peacock really because you've got the ability to be able to um, stamp out all of the different components of the peacock there build up his plumage and create that gorgeous um, little peacock there so all of the stamps and then the uh, the dies to be able to cut the peacock and the feathers out of there then you're going to get uh, more stamps there too so some beautiful stamps to go with that to cover lots of different occasions you've also then got your gorgeous pretty plumage stamp I mean calm on we were doing um, lots of colouring yesterday. I mean, imagine getting all of your pens and pencils into that. Love the little um, sort of peacock feather corner that you got with that too. And look at this included is your plumage panel embossing folder. How stunning does that look on that um, card set there with a bit of um, gilding wax to kind of bring that to the fore. And not only that, but you're gonna get 10 sheets of your Royal Blue Glitter Card. You know how much I love our Glitter Card? Encapsulated glitter, so it's not gonna go everywhere. Let's get demoing this because it is going to disappear. 15% of the stock remaining now. It's another 5% gone in the last three minutes, so it is gonna go quick as you can, Craig. What are you gonna show us from this collection? 
Now, some of you might actually remember the very yes. first craft along that we done was all about the uh, Peacock collection. So what I'm going to say is, uh, we are not going to obviously recreate this card because with craft all it's really quick and uh, show you some of the products. But we are going to then be, uh, this is what we've done in the craft along. So you could get your hands on some of the goodies we're away to show you. And then what you can always do is go back and then rewatch the craft along and craft along at your heart's content. This is what we made. So what we're going to do is let's take a piece of the texture cardstock. So this is just from our 8x8 texture bundle. This is from the Bright Set. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to pop it into our folder. And this folder, Ben, is absolutely spectacular. And it is what I would say as a, a traditional standard folder in the fact of it is not a 3D one. But it's not standard as some not people standard. might think standard. No, not at all. Not at all. So I'm putting it through my Gemini. So whether it's the Gemini, the Daddy Gemini, or it will go through the MIDI as well. But when it comes to your Gemini plates, because it is a standard embossing folder, although I don't like using that word, it is your two cutting plates. What I also like to do is pop in my metal shim as well. It's just going to give that bit of depth to your embossed detail. And then what we're going to do is we open that up. Now, I know because it's a darker cardstock, slightly harder to see. Yeah. However, what we're then going to do, bring in our trusty friend, our Gildan Wax. Here we go. And this is really going to bring it to life. So let's go in with our Gildan Wax. Still got some of the Gildan Waxes on the website. You'd have to search for them. Um, I know a few of them have sold out, but we have still got some of the... Um the golds available. Which one is that? Which gold is that? This one happens to be the Empire Gold. Oh, okay. But okay. of course, you can do it with any of the Gildan waxes yeah. that you've got. So we're just going in. And I'm doing this bit quite quickly. If you do happen to have any problems or issue when it comes to applying Gildan waxes, then also in that craft along, what I do, Ben, is uh, I really, because uh, it was all about slowing down and showing you. I know, um, I was there. Craft. Oh, so you were. Anyway, yeah. carry on as we uh, I kind of explain and help you uh, apply your Gildan Wax. Yeah. That'll look a bit easier if you have any issues. Um, Antique Golden Renaissance Gold left on the website. I kind of feel, you know, that was uh, one of my favourite shows of recent times, actually. Well, it was a really good one, wasn't it? We went, I mean, you just went, like, I don't mean this nasty, but we went super slow. Because yeah. we, wanted, we wanted everyone to be able to sort of craft along. I think it was about, it was about an hour and 15 minutes to do the card, wasn't it? It I was, think? wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Round about that. Yeah. Really nice. And just really, really slowed it down to show you how you could make the card that I showed you. And on that show, yes, we had the synchronised Gemini cutting as well, didn't we? Because we had our um, two guests. I think it was Susan and Gail, I want to say. Look at yeah. my memory. What's going on here? I can never remember anything, but it's such a great show. Susan and Gail. And it was that point where they were crafting along with us. And uh, you were popping um, your dies into your, your dies. You were popping your uh, sandwich into your machine, and at exactly the same time, both Susan and Gail did it too. We had synchronised um, die cutting. It was just, it was, it was a joy to behold. It really was. I never it forget was that day. So good, wasn't it? It was. So so good. It was. But uh, actually, just talking about your memory there. That's what I was uh, when I so rudely interrupt you, you Ben, in that opening. Is I was wondering, do peacocks fly? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. They definitely fly. But, but that's a good question though, about because obviously the, when the males get their big bushy trains, it must be harder for them to fly. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good point. They definitely fly though. Mm, I, not I, I, I learned, do you know something? I learned a really good interesting fact this morning from producer Laura during wake up call. About peacock? About no, about ducks. Okay, okay, okay. But don't tell me, see if I know. What, what is it to do with? It's a fact that we can't possibly say live on air. Well, why are you saying it then? But, well, because I'm just letting you know, I learned a really good fact about ducks. We're leading on from peacocks. I know peacocks aren't ducks and ducks aren't peacocks, what, but... What is it to do with it? Why, why can't we say it? Because is it to do with... Reproducing. You can... We can talk about... Well, no, we mean... Can we? Probably not. Charlotte, I'm not going into any more detail. What I would do is go into you, you, you go into you, <laughs> you, go into Yahoo, go into Google, go into any of these sites, <laughs> you, <laughs> and have a wee look as well. You'll certainly be doing a better you when you go and search that one. Just watch what you search for. Anyway, right, you're really going to get into trouble for digressing there. Here we go. So this is just doing a bit of embossing. Then what I did do is I changed from the King Gold and I went into a bit of the Renaissance Gold on the other side that we can see here. And then what I'm also going to do within that, within that set, 
Have you got your phone over there? Sorry? Have you got your phone under there, under the counter somewhere? No, it's at the yeah. side. Ne when I'm doing my next little bit, what's at me, what's at me the fact, right? And then I'll be, I'll make, I'll make the decision as to whether it's <laughs> okay. or I'm not. telling you, you won't be able to see Well, it. let me know what it is, because I can't wait till the end of the show. I can't wait for okay. 45 minutes. I need to know what this fact is. So, so when, when I'm doing the next bit, just send me, the, send me it and I'll, I'll have a look. Um, but just by the way, Nora's just asking, what colour is the cardstock that Craig is using with the peacock embossing folder, please? It's just one of the deep greens that are from our uh, textured 8x8 card packs. Okay. Um, good to know. Um, just a few more hellos just whilst you're, um, you're stamping up. Sandra says, morning, Craig, uh, Ben, CTV crew and crafty friends. Uh, yeah, it's Johnny and Charlotte in the house today. Uh, Jeffrey says on Facebook, Craig is being cool and collected today. Ben, you're going to have to work on your material. <laughs> That's outrageous, Jeffrey. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, and Maria on Facebook says, Ben, oh, Maria from Devon. I'm in Newton Abbott, not from Torquay. Well, Maria, I, I used to live in King Stainton, just up from the race course. So I knew, I know Newton Abbott, Newton Abbott, very well. Lovely part of the world. Anyway, sorry, Craig. No, that's just okay. Chat, just no chatting to Maria. Uh, stamped a sentiment. You've got that uh, variety of all the different uh, words that you've got within that stamp set we can see here. Yeah. So I've just stamped uh, a couple of them that you've got there, done a bit of a noble die cut. And then what we've done is creating the die that you've got in the backdrop here. So it's the sort of thing that you could be doing. Obviously, you might need to add a few extra bits and pieces, but we've got the glitter card and all that there. Uh, if you are going to do go back and have a look at that craft along, then you'll also find on social media, even my pages, the kind of like the uh, shopping list that you would need to actually create that actual card on social media as well, if you want to go back and look for it. Excellent stuff. Craig. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding you. Let, let, me get, let me get set up for my next demo. And then do it. I'll and speak then slowly. Um, if you want to go for the Nature's Garden Peacock collection uh, with the glitter card, 39 elements in total. Grab it whilst you can. We're approaching 90% of the stock has gone on this now. Uh, £20, $30. It is such a great buy uh, when you consider. I'll just quickly show you again. I know we've got to move on. I just want to quickly show you. You're going to get your Proud as a Peacock stamp and die set. So basically you can stamp out this gorgeous peacock and build up the layers for that. Those are the sentiments there which Craig just showed you a few moments ago. So you've got you know, lots of different sentiments for all sorts of occasions. Here's that stunning plumage panel. That's the embossing folder that Craig just used uh, just a few moments ago. Phenomenal. And then you talk about gorgeous stamps. That is the pretty plumage stamp uh, right there. Take a look at that. That is just absolutely gorgeous. More sentiments on there too. Don't forget that, you, I mean, this is where the deal is superb. You're also going to get your 10 sheets of your um, Royal Blue glitter cardstock as well. That encapsulated glitter, um, which isn't going to fall out and get all over the place. It's stunning. That's a great buy. Uh, up towards 90% of the stock has gone on that one. Right, let us look at the Kingfisher window project that we've got. Look at this. This set allows you to make these gorgeous sort of um, like stained glass window effect cards. They're really, really clever. That's the die that you're going to get with that gorgeous Kingfisher. And of course, it lends itself beautifully to making those, um, those uh, stained glass windows. The die itself is worth $16.99 or $19.95. And look, if I just go like that and then turn it upside down, look, you've also got like the little shaker element in there too. But then also, look, you can just use it as a nice little frame to go on the front of your card as well. You know, do a little background, pop the frame on the front, absolutely. Absolutely perfect. So you've got the die which is worth $16.99 um, on its own. You've then also got um, your aperture cards too. So basically, if you if you are getting this because you want to do the stained glass window effect, then you've got um, your uh, cards with the apertures cut out. You've got the white and the black in there as well, including envelopes, 20 of those. And then adding on to that as well, you've got 25 sheets of your matte black cardstock too. Uh, and that is self-adhesive also, super, super handy. That's $9.99 or $11.95. Uh, and actually, if you want to go for that individually, it is available as an individual item on the website. But as a bundle, that's worth $31.97 or $38.85. You've got it home today for £20 or $30. Uh, as a club member, a club member, as a platinum member, uh, you have got that for $16 or $24. Just amazing. Now, Talking about uh, products that we absolutely love, this set is gorgeous. And again, I can't believe we're doing this for 20 pounds 
or $30 because each of these is $12.99 on its own or $14.99 uh, and they are absolutely superb. So these are your um, cut and emboss classic word collection. Three of them you're going to get and these are gorgeous. I just think these are super for your card projects. Great for the fact that obviously once you're doing your cut and emboss you can then take out the negative and still use that on your other projects too. But I just think these lend themselves um, very, very nicely to home decor projects as well. This one particularly, and it always reminds me, does that little house there of the Home Alone movies at the start of the movie when the graphic comes in. But that's gorgeous, isn't it? You can imagine like cutting this out in your favourite cardstock, uh, whacking that in a picture frame, beautiful piece of home decor, you know, decorate it up how you want. And then also you've got a little bit of love, which as I said, looks absolutely beautiful when you're popping these onto your card projects but then also as I mentioned a few moments ago you might decide that you do want to do uh, little home decor pieces as well and uh, once again just take a look at that using different colors different ideas these can look very very different um, indeed 20 pounds or 30 dollars is the deal you're going to get home you're going to get uh, love and you're going to get congrats big saving to be had grab these don't wait for these to go back up to full price and get them get them today on the craft vault that's why we bring this show to you so you can snap up these absolutely um, amazing deals now um, that kingfisher set that we showed you a few moments ago is what we are going to look at now um, i was going to do a little bit more um reading of your messages but uh, craig has just sent me the fact over that i was on about and my uh, my tablets crashed <laughs> so, <laughs> so it kind of tells me uh, the fact is one that I won't be able to read out, but I'll reboot this and uh, you go over and see Craig as he shows you that this beautiful Kingfisher window die. Someone's trying to tell you something here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Let's have a look at this Kingfisher die. So we've done a demo this morning uh, on Wake Up Call with it. So we're going to do a different one. We're going to use our self-adhesive uh, cardstock, our black. And then what we've also got is using the card blank as well that comes within the little set. So what we can do, is, uh, um, can you hear everyone? Yeah, just, sorry, just check in, is, can you hear Charlotte? Yeah. Yes, you can do it, yeah. What we're then doing is, um, let's bring in our cardstock. So what we can do is if we then take our die, we're then going to bring in our self-adhesive strip that we can see here. Now with this die here, what it does is it's got the outside cutting edge, so it's going to cut away from <laughs> your cardstock. Charlotte's just told me off. All right. Oh, is that better now, Charlotte? Good. It's told me off. You, you carry on. You carry on. I, I had wires sticking out. It's fine. Carry on, Craig. And I will do. So we've got a card stock. We've got a die. So the die's got the outside cutting edge, so it's still going to cut out your card. However, you do also get an outside die as well. So what would happen if you use them together? It's going to cut a frame, but if you use it separately, it's going to cut a mat and layer. So you've got different options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it. I tell you what, let's do it. Let's chop it down, and then we can pop it uh, the right way through. But what I'm doing as well is because the cardstock has got double-sided adhesive on the back, I'm just adding my metal shim in. And then we're going to pop our plastic magnetic and then top cutting plate. Line that one up and then we're going to run that one through as well. Same plate configuration if you're using the Daddy or even the Pro if you're going to use that one. But bringing in our cardstock into line. What I'm then also going to do is I've got my acetate just to the side. And uh, if you do have extra of your uh, double-sided uh, adhesive black card, you can then be using it elsewhere in your crafting, maybe die-cut sentiments, you could be doing that one with. But we've got this bit here, so then what we're going to do, perfect die if you like to do your paper piece in. So what we can do is we can pop all these out, bring in our tool, and we can take the actual detail of the die out. <laughs> And all these bits here, all of them, just peeling them out. So all these little bits, if you're going to use that for paper piecing elsewhere in your uh, projects, these have all got your double-sided adhesive bits on the back, so that makes that a little bit easier for you. But what I'm going to do is we take these bits out, and I'm not needing these ones, so let's just remove them at the side. I'm then going to come in and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop this onto my acetate because we've got 
the days are on the back really really simply and then a lot easier just making sure I can see my acetate which I can I'm going to pop that one on press that one into place and then what I'm doing is I'm going to trim around with my scissors uh -huh. I find it easier just to pop it onto my acetate and then trim afterwards could use your guillotine if you want but we can simply go round all the way round finishing this one off then what we're going to do is because we've then got a good maybe about quarter of an inch maybe just a bit less than that all the way around i'm going to bring in my tape let's use a red liner tape for this one i'm just using the red liner tape because this is what i've got widthwise it's going to fit but we can go around the edges here and then what we can do is we can use our card blank as an aperture yeah and once again, as I was saying, if you do have extra bits of your black adhesive cardstock left, use that elsewhere into your crafting. Or what you could then do is if you are uh, maybe like our Kelly here in head office, if you like to do your cross stitching or that, then your uh, aperture card blanks are good for things like those sorts of crafts. So it gives you options. So what I can do is if I then, I'm going to take these bits off here and pop these ones off. And we can bring in our card blank. We can then put that one over the top, really simply. Now I think within the card blanks you're getting some black black ones as well as the white ones. You do. And we can pop it here. So then you could then bring in, of course, your uh, pattern papers, maybe cardstock in the back. But the good thing with adding some acetate, Ben, is if I bring in my tri blends because I've got them here. Or you could use your classics like I did this morning. I'm going to go in now with, let's go for, uh, we want a deep tone. When you're going to colour on acetate, you want a real deep tone. If you go to use a pastel or that, it can be too light and you don't really see it. So let's go for bright pink shades for this one. And uh, I'm not putting cardstock at the back just now because if I leave it blank as I am doing, it's going to show off the colouring in a moment. Yeah. But we can then go direct into the acetate and we can colour and the black outline is uh, creating a bit of um, a barrier so yeah. just as if you were doing heat embossing so we can colour that in and we can go all the way down and because it's uh, our tri blends because it's alcohol based what happens is it's going to dry um, and stay onto the acetate let's go in for we're going for the jade green but we'll go in the mid-tone Lots of love for this Kingfisher, by the way. I, I am now um, officially uh, reading this off my phone because your uh, fact that you did send over about ducks has um, it's some, for some reason crashed my tablet and I can't get it working again. <laughs> but um, Brenda just saying, I was a Kingfisher in the Girl Guides many years ago. Um, I love Craig's demo this morning, so I couldn't resist popping it in my basket. Was, is that what used to happen? I can't remember. In like, so like the guides and the, the scouts and the cubs and stuff, you, you were in the pack. What, is that what it was? It was? You were in a pack, weren't you? And you were at your pack was named after a particular animal is that is that how it works i'm not too sure actually um and also mandy's just asking ben could you please ask craig this morning he showed that you can emboss the kingfisher dye uh you can do it could you do it in the midi um if yes how please says mandy doodle hands you wouldn't be able to do it within the midi because you need your embossing feature you need your embossing mark which you get with your gemini junior or your uh large Gemini or even your pro. So not in the midi, because that is just a folder based uh, die cutting. Oh, okay. So you do need your electronic, electronic, your electric die cutting machine. But of course, if you did miss uh, this morning's show and you want to see any of the demos, which um, Craig brought your way, you can, um, you can do that by just going back and having a look at our, uh, at our website and indeed via YouTube as well. That is amazing. There we go. So what we can do is if we bring that one in here, can you see? So what we're doing, if I bring that, there we go, perfect. So now you're using that as like an embossed feature that you can see using the, the black outlines. We've got our alcohol pens in the backdrop that you can see there. So just using that in another way. We've done a little bit of colouring in the wake up call show this morning. However, uh, we've just done that on a different feature as well. Such a great diet you do, a perfect one, as I say, uh, for a bit of um, 
uh, paper piece in and I did give you a bit of tease this morning I'm going to do it again Ben in about I think about two weeks I've got a full show that's all about paper piece in so that's a bit of a tease I'll keep you updated Ooh. when I know exactly when so it's going to be a bit of a different show for you look forward to it uh, if you want to go for the uh, Kingfisher project remember you get the die you get your um, cardstock as well with the apertures and you've got the self adhesive cardstock included too £20 or $30 is the deal on that. Remember, everything on the show, 20 or 30 less your platinum, that is uh, 16 or 24 which is amazing. This Kingfisher is flying, if you excuse the pun. The Peacock Collection is also flying out of the door. We have got um, other deals on the show for you as well, like the Sharon Callis stencils. Now, do you know what? Do you know what? <laughs> I absolutely love these. I love everything that Sharon Callis brings to the table. I've not seen these. I have not seen these before and I absolutely love them. Um, you have got the uh, princess stencil. These are all six by six. What I love about this collection is there is literally something in here for everyone. There's your arrows. Um, if I flip that round, you can just see on the back there as well. So do you know what? If you want to use this as a whole, you can do. If you just want to use individual elements of the stencil, you can. You've then got your uh, getting ziggy, getting ziggy with it. Na, 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 na. Remember that? Na, I do. Na, 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 na. Getting ziggy with it. Da, 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 Will Smith. Da, da. Um, so those are your zigs. You've then got around the block. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still I'm around the block and I, 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 I. Is that that one? No, oh no, that's all the around the world. the world, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit further than around yeah. the block. Uh, but you've got on there... All Jenny's sorts of... from there. Huh? Jenny's from there. Where? The block. The... Oh yeah, Jenny is from the block. <laughs> she's, still, she's still Jenny from the block. Uh, so you have got around the block. You've then got a uh, tag, you're it. So you've got loads of different um, tags for you to stencil in there. That's what I like about these. It's not just like one stencil. It's kind of like lots of mini stencils within one big six by six stencil. And then on top of that, look at this. How useful uh, your regiment alphabet uh, with numbers too. I love, love, love the uh, font of that. Do you know the font on there reminds me of the TV show, The A-Team. Oh this, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a, it's exactly uh, the font from that show. So all of those you get, that's a great deal, 20 pounds. And it is six stencils, but actually, as I've said, when you look within the actual stencils themselves, there's lots of mini stencils within the stencils. So I think that's a lot more than that. But all of those for 20 pounds, $30, which is 16 pounds or $24 um, for that deal today. Now, I know Christmas isn't on your mind right now, but bear with me on this because now is a great time to shop for Christmas simply for the fact that we're able to bring the prices down low like this. And of course, Christmas is coming again this year. Newsflash, oh Johnny, you didn't. You didn't. You, have you got one of those apps, have you? Ah, oh, 304 <laughs> days. Uh, until Christmas. So get yourself well prepared. 304 days. Um, so it's a good time to pick this up to get crafting. You are going to get this gorgeous uh, cut and emboss folder, uh, this elegant holly. That is included. For me, that is worth the entrance price alone because it is absolutely gorgeous. You're then going to get your vintage uh, Christmas enchanted ivy dye as well. Again, look at the detail that you've got in there. If you want to use that um, you know, on the edges of your card too, on the tops of your card, just adding some real uh, glamour to your Christmas makes. Then you're going to get your piece on earth die too. And again, what I love about this is you get the little um, frame to go on it as well. So you can basically, uh, you know, if you want to use a bit of white cardstock and then as we've done here, um, use a bit of your um, sort of mirror cardstock, then you've got something which really does jump off the page. On top of that, you are going to get um, a set of stamps as well. Let me just go and grab those from over here because I haven't got um, a board for those, but these are the stamps uh, that you are also going to get with this collection. Again, lovely for the fact that you've got a stamp for each and every sort of uh, Christmas occasion, Santa Claus, Peace on Earth, Silent Night and Christmas Magic. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better than that, hang fire, we are also going to give you... Oh, okay. We are also going to give you 10 sheets of your Christmas green glitter card. That 
is an unbelievable deal. And look at the kind of things that you can make with components from this collection. Um, obviously, you, these papers don't come with it, but you can see the kind of things that you can create. This, for me, is a, a set which has got a real kind of um, classic feel to it. It has got that gorgeous kind of, you know, Christmas from years gone by feel. I absolutely love it. And come on, are you kidding me? If you can create something as gorgeous as that, I mean, Christmas this year is gonna be awesome. 20 pounds, $30, platinum members, 16 pounds, $24. That is flying out of the door that I'm not surprised when you've seen the deal on it. Uh, let us have a look at this with um, Craig, other side at studio. What are you gonna show us? Right, you. We're going to have a look at the vintage Christmas, and we're going to do a couple of bits of different. Uh, we're going to do balsam. We're going to do a bit of die cutting, and even quickly a bit of ink as well. So let's bring in a piece of our uh, watercolor card, and I've already cut this down to uh, five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then what we can do is just bring my plates in, and then we can then bring in our folder as well. Popping this one in. So this is our cut and emboss folder. And what we can do is we can sandwich this one in. And I'm going to place that in. It's watercolour card because we're going to add some ink. So we're going to place that one in. So we're going to do our base cut and plate. And then once again, what we're going to do is we are going to pop our metal shim. And then we're going to bring this one over the top and then run it through. While that's running through, actually, Ben, um, what I'm going to say is, well, you know, I'm always, uh, always open with all of you guys just here. And after our uh, last conversation, within that last demo, just as that, our boss walked in the door. I kid you not, <laughs> I've never sweated so much in my life thinking, uh, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. Um, <laughs> But it was, it was, it was all right. It was fine. So, uh, yeah, I, oh. I, would, I wondered why she walked in for a second as well, to be honest with you. I thought she was going to go, I saw those wires poking out your pocket earlier on. You didn't tuck them in like Charlotte said. Um, but yeah, no, it's all good. I, my tablet still isn't working. No word of a lie. Ever since he sent that back. Tablet's not working. It's just blank screen. Um, so hopefully we'll get that fixed at some point. I can't read the <laughs> comments in the minute. Um, I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to revert to my phone in a second. I'll, that's what I'll do. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh dear. Oh, I did say brilliant. don't send that fact over, didn't I? Uh, yeah, you did. I thought that's what I was in trouble for. So now I've brought in some Bordeaux, water reactive, and I've also got green topaz, and we're going to add some colour on. We're just going to lay this colour on. So what's also happening is the ink is also going to pick up the depth of the embossing. And with this collection, you got, uh, you know, it's very, you know, as it's, I know the name is saying vintage Christmas, but it very is vintage style. So you can really go for your deep greens, your deep reds, you know, go all for all of those kind of shades. But there's nothing stopping you from changing the shades. Maybe you want to go maybe a bit more modern if you wanted to. Maybe you want to go with like your blues and silvers. You absolutely can. But what we can do is let's add a little bit more ink. And then what I've also done, using the same two inks, I've taken a piece, another piece of our watercolour card, which is seven and a half by seven and a half. And I just randomly done a few bits. Nothing specific, like no blending, no nothing. I just got some colour down, so it was uh, enough. So then let's move these bits out of the way. So move these bits and move these bits. I'm going to bring in a few layers that we can assemble in a moment. Now, I, um, I didn't have any of the green glitter card when I've done this, so I've used the alternative in the Centura Pearl. Okay. You would then, of course, instead of using Centura Pearl, you'd use the glitter. Unless you wanted to use Centura Pearl, you absolutely can. And then we're going to layer it up in the tape pen. My tablet's working again. Thank you, Alison, who, on YouTube, uh, who said, restart it, Ben. Always works, doesn't it? A bit of a restart. Control, Alt, Delete. Um, so yeah, thank you for all of the comments coming in. Lots of people looking forward now to your um, your paper piecing show that you just teased to a few months ago. Lots of people commenting about that. Have you actually got a date for that yet, or are you still uh, you still waiting to confirm, or are you just teasing us? Uh, no, I do. I do have a date. Oh right, but you're not going to say. Uh, no, 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 Phil. You have to. I don't want to put uh, you. Into, into I don't us. mind. Um, oh, I feel bad now. now. Give, give or take, you know, things may change, date may move, but it is in for the fourth of March. Thursday the 4th of March, a master, master class, and it's all about paper piecing. That's a week to, week tomorrow? Week tomorrow. Yeah. Week tomorrow. Wow. Um, okay. So yeah. 
So uh, a little bit more ideas, uh, hints and tips when it comes to paper piecing. Excellent stuff. Look so forward to that. Well, as it is next week, then you can bet your bottom dollar it is definitely in for the fourth because it's no way it's going to change at such short notice. Brilliant. Put it in your diaries, folks. That will be a good one. It will. I'm looking forward to it. I look forward to all the shows, but that one, you know, it's a different one, a different style and a different take. Yeah. So it's going to be really quite good. i tell you what as well, which I, 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 I'm guessing this, but um, after you did that uh, scrapbooking demo last week <gasps> with the positivity, the amount of chat that there's been about yeah. scrapbooking, and particularly now everyone's got their hands on the Gemini Pro, which we launched yesterday. Lots of people were chatting that they were going to get the Pro for their scrapbooking. Uh, and again, this is only me you know, just plucking this out of the ether, I don't know for sure. I'm thinking there might be some sort of scrapbooking show coming up at some point over the, the weeks to come, because uh, lots of you are asking for it. Yeah, I'm the same as you. Show. I don't know for certain, I've not heard anything, but from your reaction, certainly your reaction on my social media about that page that I've done, I could see it happening, but I can promise you that at least, even if there's not set scrapbooking shows, I will be doing more scrapbooking demos in with, you know, other shows that I'm doing. So, uh, I, you know, I do enjoy doing scrapbooking and obviously you love, uh, you loved seeing it as well. Yeah. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll do some more throughout different shows. Layering then these up, Ben, and we're going to assemble this card. A couple of questions whilst you're doing that though, um, not related particularly to this demo, but um, going back to the earlier demo that you did with the Kingfisher, Christy was just asking, could you use aqua markers or sparkle pens on acetate? Right, so <laughs> this is actually kind of funny while I have the glue in my hand. Your, certainly your sparkle pens, what you would do uh, to use that on acetate, you would need to use a mixture of the sparkle and your tacky glue. Ah, okay. Because your acetate is a non-porous surface, it's not going to, it's not going to adhere to, it's not going to soak in. So what you need is you need to make kind of like your own kind of like tacky colour. Yeah. So what you would just do is, you, if you're using the pen, just squeeze it so you get a little bit onto your glass mat, craft mat, something like that. Then pour in uh, a little bit of your tacky glue, mix it up together, and then that's going to create obviously a, a, a tacky form. Oh, you know, okay. It's a glue. Then what you could do is carefully paint it into all the little bits of the die cut pieces and then once the glue dries it's still going to have that acetate because obviously the glue is white but it will dry clear which means you're going to be left with the sparkle colour and then therefore that's going to adhere to your acetate. Fantastic, glad I asked. Thank you for the question uh, Christy. And uh, Christiana on YouTube just asking, this is obviously relating to the Sharon Callis stencils that we've got on the show. Uh, can you emboss with those stencils, the stencil sheets? I think as a rule you can emboss with stencils. You, you can't, you? you can emboss with all stencils. Mm -hmm. Now the only, the only thing certainly with these Sharon Callis ones these are very 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 thin right very thin doesn't mean poor quality do you know what I mean you know because yeah. you know it's us and then obviously it's Sharon Callis who's just been a crafter for years uh, just you know you get some incredible quality but thinner material um, so you can but you're going to get a very 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 subtle embossed line or embossed detail yeah well but let, absolutely you can yeah, but it. let's be honest stencils are there for stenciling aren't they yep. I think it's only a bit of a, a Brucey bonus that with some stencils you can obviously get that embossed with but absolutely. yeah they are quite thin but why not you know give it a go see how it works for you but yeah as we've always found out you can obviously do embossing uh, to a point with your stencils uh, lots of love coming in for this collection just as um, Craig's doing the die cutting now the piece on earth um, I love this collection says Diane on Facebook currently working on an order of Christmas cards using the cut and emboss folder. <laughs> Producer Johnny's just gone, way, 304 days. Uh, yeah, don't be caught out this year. 304 <laughs> to go, don't say we didn't warn you. Um, Kate just saying, well, I did it, bought that Kingfisher set, cannot wait. Well done, Katie, you're gonna have fun with that, seriously. Uh, Diana just saying, I love scrapbooking Craig. I have been a scrapbooker for 21 years. Fab. And uh, Sandra Dundas on YouTube saying, my lovely hubby has ordered me those new sentiments from the next show. Oh, <gasps> yes, Sandra. Oh. Good tea, Sandra. I love it. We've got a uh, bit of a launch coming up in the next show. Uh, the launch of the interchangeable sentiment dies. That is going to be uh, amazing. I know a lot of people have already been shopping ahead. Uh, if you've already got them, there'll be some great demos coming up with Craig. If you haven't Absolutely. already got them, be ready to snap them up. 
funny you say that as well. I know you and Sarah were showing them and using them yesterday, Ben, kind of like in a bit of a preview. Yeah. But I think as well, this morning, I uh, showed them and previewed them on Wake Up Call. And I think as well, no disrespect to you and, and Sarah, because I, I seen it, you explained it well, it was really good. But I think as well, this morning, the penny dropped for a lot of people and actually how it's the same backdrop, but you're just changing the sentiment. You can use the outline, you can use the detail, use them on their own so many different ways, because certainly social media this morning went nuts just after we showed them again so yeah uh, that's going to be a good show no it will be a good show and obviously that is the main focus if you're watching um the shows yesterday we just sort of dropped it in for sort of a 10 15 minute spell um so yeah today is the show to be watching to be buying and uh, to be learning from craig because he's got some fantastic demos up his sleeve well i've got demos anyway yeah i was gonna say you haven't got any uh, fantastic demos up your sleeve because you're not wearing any sleeves i'm today, not so no i've gone a for a change yeah so I did a costume it. change yesterday for the first time. Sorry? I did a costume change for the first did time you? yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I was so, during the, uh, the launch day show when we launched the Pro, I was so exhausted um, trying to keep up with Sarah. It got to the point like I felt like I'd ran about 10 miles in that two hours. So I, yeah, I had, to, I had to go and get changed. So it was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. Sometimes when, yeah. when Sarah's going at 500 miles an hour, yeah. You know what she's like? Oh yeah. Don't oh, she'll yeah. be talking much the day though. Hey? I doubt she'll be talking much oh, today. Oh no. Hey, yeah. Uh, I mean, the tooth, you mean? Yeah. Uh, I'm ooh, not, yeah. Have you heard for. Oh, you were out running I with her. I was out running with her, yeah. How is she? She's all right. She's a little bit, a little bit sore, I think. Because she, she's not in today, is she? She's at home. No. The kids, I think she'll be working, though, at home. Yeah, I think she, she's working from home. But apparently, she went, she went to the dentist and uh, they had a look. They said, um, yeah, you're. Uh, yeah, you're. Uh, oh, I've forgotten the joke now, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it now. <laughs> she, they said, your teeth are fine, but your gums will have to come out. That was a joke. It wasn't even worth it. Um, <laughs> don't worry. Don't look at me like that. Your, your teeth are fine. But your gums will have to come out. But think about it. It wouldn't work, would it? Your, te your teeth are fine. But your gums will have to come out. If you, don't have any gum, if you don't have any gums, what would happen? Oh, you never, never mind. If you don't have... Wasted. Oh, right, okay. If Wasted. If you, uh, if you don't have... If you don't have... Yeah. Bumps, you wouldn't have yeah. teeth. Got yeah. Just, it was a terrible joke. It really wasn't worth it. It was, actually. Honestly. You need to work on um, that. Wow. Wow, the silence is deafening, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That Did is, you see that uh, tumbleweed going past? A bit awkward. Awkward. Jeez. Anyway, great card, Craig. Hey, oh, look at this. Hey, hey. So even creating our own backdrop with the colours, you know, so even if you don't have pattern papers, anything like that, don't look at me like that. Any old colours that you've got here, but here we go, using the cut and emboss folder and using the die as well. So that was the Bordeaux and the green topaz that we, stop looking at me like that, um, that we used for that card. No, why I bother? Now, the Vintage Christmas collection is flying out the door. Something else which is flying, the Nature's Garden Peacock collection. Screen right on the, the screen, which means... Sorry. That's my line. That's my line. You Sorry. don't do that bit. Know your role. <laughs> I'm Billy Connolly. <laughs> no. Um, it's limited stock. Limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... It soon won't be seen. It soon won't be seen. The, uh, this is going to go. You've got to. Why get did it. I think of Shrek when you done that? I don't know. <laughs> you've got to get this quick. Donkey. <laughs> I'm making <a> waffle. <laughs> Augers have layers. Um, look, let me just quickly show you the Peacock collection because it is going to go. The reason why, right, is because because you get <laughs> with it your Craig's fallen over over there. Your proud as a peacock stamp and die set. This is uh, what I call build a peacock because you basically do have the opportunity here to build your own peacock with all of the different layers, the stamps and the dies to work together. That is stunning. That gorgeous uh, peacock that you're going to get. Uh, Kathy C's just messaged to say R O F L. So funny, Ben. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so your pretty plumage stamp you're going to get. You're then also going to get that gorgeous embossing folder which we saw earlier on. That's phenomenal. You're also going to get this gorgeous stamp set included too for 20 quid or $30 and then on top of that 
have a 10 sheets of your royal blue glitter card included that's a phenomenal deal that's why we're limited stock that's why this is going to sell out that's why you need to get this right now because it is going to go potentially before the end of the show this will not be here um, for craft vault later on 20 pounds 30 dollars 16 pounds 24 dollars do not miss out that will go it will definitely go um oh Oh, do you know what? It's been such a great craft fault as this. We've not even shown you this collection, which is an absolute steal. It, this is a bargain. I mean, seriously, just buy. With this collection from Sarah's uh, signature rose gold collection, you are going to get this gorgeous love dye. You are also going to get uh, your beautiful modern rose dyes included which are gorgeous. You're gonna get your wish in there too, which is amazing. But on top of that, you're gonna get your sparkle and shine stamp and die set. That on its own is worth $14.99 or $17.99. I mean, how lovely is that? 24 pieces within that little collection. And then on top of that, are you kidding me? $12.99 or $16.95 for this gorgeous cut and embossed folder, your decorative rose frame. What a deal that is. As I say, we've hardly touched on that yet, but hopefully you've had the chance to have a look on the web and you've got that into your basket. If you've got £20 or $30 to spend today, the only difficulty you've got here is deciding which item you're going to bag uh, because there's so many great, great products to choose from on this show. Like, for example, the cut and embossed words. I mean, are you kidding me? These feature uh, a lot here on the channel because they're so, so popular. Can't believe we've got them in the craft vault. Cannot believe that you can get three of these today for £20 or $30. I mean, just value for money wise is crazy. All cut and embossed folders, all perfect for your projects, all great for uh, your home decor projects as well. You're gonna get, congratulations, you're gonna get love. That one is my favorite, which is home. Uh, it's £16 or $24 if you're a Platinum member. They're also flying out the door. Whichever way you look today, um, deals are going. You've got to be quick. Snap up the deals while they're here. I cannot promise you that when we're back on Craft Vault later on with uh, Hillary, that all of these deals will be here. Um, because I don't think they will be uh, at this rate. The, 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 how busy it is, these are going to go. £20, $30, get them now. Don't wait till later because you may well end up being disappointed. Uh, thank you for all of the lovely messages coming in. Lots of love for that last demo. Uh, Kathy just saying, loving that colour combination. Simply gorgeous. Uh, Eleanor saying, love those dyes. Uh, they're talking about how convenient they are with all the different sentiments. Yes, that's coming up later on on the, uh, the launch show with the interchangeable uh, sentiment dies. Love your cards, Craig. Might now need to start get started on my Christmas cards, says Sarah. Uh, and Melissa Horn Newby on Facebook says, these two, that's us, are like two boys in the back seat and your mama keeps saying, stop, you two. That's what we're like, apparently. Two naughty boys in the back of the car mucking about. We've already had the boss walk in once, so let's behave for the last eight minutes. Craig, show us the demo. Let's go for it. Right, so we're going to use these out of embossing folders, and these have got the dies in with them as well. So what we're going to do is, though you've got the dies in them, you can still do your letter press technique. So I'm going to go, just because I had the Bordeaux to hand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp using the water reactive, and I'm going to stamp into all of these bits here. Now, no, I'm doing it on the wrong side, Craig. Here we go, go into the embossed side, that will help. So then I'm just laying that colour down. So we're going to go over the top, dab and all that colour out. Now what will happen is, although it's water reactive, it will wash off. Some of the colours might stay in your folder slightly. Don't worry about that one, because uh, just give it a, a little bit of a wash down, either a wipe or a hot soapy water and it'll come off and then you'll be able to use the folder time and time again. If you do get some of your ink onto the foam bit of these letters, again, don't worry, it'll stay in it, but it'll be absolutely fine. So you don't need to worry about that one. And then, because it's a cut and emboss, what we're going to do is do our metal shim and then our top cut and plate. Run this one through. That's then uh, going to do the embossing. But then what it's also going to do as well, it's going to do the die cutting of the words. But where the letter O should be, you'll get the, um, that embossed of the heart. So that's quite fun. So then what we're going to do, so we have, oh no, I had done it the right side. Oh, oh well. What's that? 
So I had, that was the right side I had started with. Ah. Not on that side, just here. Ah. So, what you would then do is do it in black and it'll look like that. Really nice and lovely. <laughs> yeah. Run it through in black and Ooh. use your gold gild and wax. It'll look spectacular. Or if you are doing it into your white cardstock, because then what you could do is come around. Let's bring in our blending tool once again. And then we could, without doing the letterpress technique, we can then just go around. And then what we're going to do is it's going to pull out the emboss. So if we come down here, we're going to look at the hearts. We're even going to look onto this main heart here. So we can go, I am making an absolute dog's dinner of this one. But here Aye, go. so good. Here we go. There we go. Oh, I'm not that bad that you need Hillary. Funny enough, Hillary has just walked. Um, so go and grab her. Here we go. Anyway, you get the idea. It's a lovely, fancy, really ornate kind of organic design that you can see there. Yeah, I like it. I like it, Craig. Oh, oh yeah. thank you. I love that. Oh. It looks good. There we go. But anyway, so what's happening is it's embossing all of the hearts. It's embossing the heart where the O would be. But then you've got all of these letters that you can be using elsewhere. Well, I say all of them. You've got L. We do have a V and we've got the E. So you could come along with maybe a nesting die of a heart and that could go in place. So you have L, O, and then we would have, you would have a V if we can find it. Oh, well. You'll, you'll, you'll have Le. Have Le. Les incompétents. <laughs> Demo of the show there, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you, if you want to go for the, we've lost the V, we've lost the V. Where is it? Has it disappeared? Then? Anyway, uh, that, that love is part of your uh, embossing collection, your cutting emboss collection. I'll just quickly show you again that you will get the, uh, the love, which we've just seen there. Uh, you will get your V when you, when you use this as a cutting emboss. It won't disappear. Uh, you've also got your home and your congrats. All three of those for £20 or $30 is the deal, uh, 16 or 24 if you're a Platinum member. Right, let's just recap on some of the other goodies that we've got on the show. Uh, remember, Craftful is back later on, but some of these deals, I'm thinking, will not be here. Uh, the Peacock Collection, limited stock. We are down to uh, like a handful of these left, I think. Uh, these are absolutely flying. You're gonna get that gorgeous uh, embossing folder. You've got the three sets of stamps with that as well. And don't forget, uh, one of those sets of stamps gives you the dies to be able to create your own little peacock. And you're gonna get the 10 sheets of royal blue glitter cardstock. 20 pounds or $30 is a steal. Get it whilst it's here. Honestly, that's probably gonna be gone uh, when we get round to it tonight. The Sharon Callis uh, stencils, again, really love these. Not seen them before. It's kind of, you know, lots of mini stencils within the bigger six by six stencils, but you can see all of the different choices you've got there. The zigzags, the princess, the alphabet, uh, the tags, the arrows, and more. 20 pounds. $30. The Vintage Christmas Collection as well is an absolute stunner. You're going to get all of that cardstock included. The um, Christmas Green uh, Centura Pearl cardstock. You've got your cut and emboss folder in there. You've got your um, stamps in there as well. And of course, your Peace on Earth uh, die set, £20 or $30 for that, and then the Kingfisher Window Project. Loads of you have been chatting about this one on the socials, actually, and I'm not surprised. The die itself, I think we discussed, is that worth $16.99 on its own? Yeah, $16.99 or $19.95. So you can see the value for money that you're getting, because you're also gonna get 25 sheets of your um, self-adhesive matte black cardstock, and then the uh, 20 cards and envelopes with the aperture pre-cut for you, for you to be able to make those uh, window cards, you know, do that sort of stained glass effect. If you wanna make your shaker cards, as well it's all there for you 20 pounds 30 dollars and talking of stunners i mean come on the rose gold collection is immense you've got the three dies wish love and then the gorgeous um rose dies then you've got the um, cut and emboss folder included as well and then the sparkle and shine stamp and die set I mean, brilliant. Look at, I mean, look at that, value for money. That, that should be closer towards 50 pounds, over $60, it's 20 pounds or 30. 
dollars today uh, better than half price deals and of course platinum members you can take another 20 percent off that as well phenomenal deals on this show uh absolutely amazing make sure you check out your carts and that uh, you don't miss out on these deals and uh, we're going to be back shortly uh craig what can we expect at one o'clock so we have our interchangeable sentiment dies. You and Sarah were kind of giving you a bit of a preview last night and uh, we're going to have a full two hours with them uh, later on as well. It's going to be fun. It's going to be so good. So many different things that you can do with them. Lots of ideas as well. Yeah, we're looking forward to that at uh, one o'clock. And also, little heads up to uh, later on, Creative Cravings. One of my favourite collections of recent times will be featured on that show. Uh, the Best of British collection um, is going to be back. And I'll tell you what, also on that show, we have have got some phenomenal paper pads. Um, so get ahead on the web, have a little sneaky peek as to what we've got coming up and maybe do a bit of shopping before because I've got a feeling, well, if it's as busy as it was yesterday, stuff is going to be flying out of the door. So uh, we are going to uh, gather ourselves. I'm going to go and read that fact that uh, Craig sent me about the, uh, the ducks and we will reconvene and be back with you in an hour's time. Bye for now. Quack, quack. <laughs>